Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and I wanted to talk about uh, how to choose a go-to mount for your telescope. Uh, you might have an optical tube sitting around, or you wanted to upgrade some old telescope to make it go-to. Well, we've got a couple of choices. You can either go with an Altaz mount. This is a fully computerized Altaz. That means altitude, up and down, and azimuth, left and right, go-to system. Or you can go with a German Equatorial go-to system. This is our Sirius mount and it's again fully robotic. It just moves east to west along one axis, north and south along the other axis. There's some differences between the two, so let's talk about uh, why you would choose one versus the other. If your goal is just to look at the night sky um, and, and maybe take some basic astrophotos like moon and planetary detail, an Altaz go-to system is, is much easier to set up than an equatorial. You just plop this thing down, you point it to two stars, and the computer translates the motions from left and right, up and down, into that arc that the objects in the sky move through. So a Starseeker uh, uh, Altaz mount like this is actually very simple to use. If your goal is longer exposure deep sky astrophotographs, taking pictures of the nebula, then you don't really want an Altaz system because it doesn't track in that proper orientation and you'll get uh, field rotation as the, uh, as the camera moves in the sky tracking the, the object. To counteract that, you want a German equatorial mount. These things are designed for long exposure astrophotography. They've got an autoguider port uh, built in, and they hold a lot of weight, more weight than this mount will hold. So for taking pictures of the nebula, it's a bit more of a setup. You've got a polar line. There's a mechanical alignment you've got to do in addition to the two uh, or three star alignment of the computer. But you get far better results when you do long exposure deep sky astrophotographs with uh, this mount here. And then lastly, you have to decide uh, how big of a mount you want to go. That depends on the size of the telescope you're going to put onto it. The Starseeker telescope, we put up to about a 6-inch F5 reflector on it, uh, or a 5-inch Maksutov, or maybe a little bit smaller refractor, like a 80 or 90 millimeter long focus refractor. That will fit fine on here. If you have a bigger scope, an 8-inch or a 10-inch reflector, or something heavier like that, then it's too much for this. You want to go with some sort of an equatorial mount. We've got go-to German Equatorials starting uh, with a Skyview Pro with a go-to system. The, that will hold up to 20 pounds. This is the Sirius. It holds 30 pounds. Uh, the Atlas mount is 40 uh, to the Atlas Pro is 44 pounds. And then if you've got something very heavy, we've got the big HDX mount. That'll hold 110 pounds. So the, the main idea is if you've got a really heavy telescope and you're shooting long exposures, you got to go with the right size German Equatorial to uh, fit the, the size and weight of the telescope you're putting on top. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, a pretty simple synopsis of what the different types of go-to mounts will do. Uh, just uh, choose the mount that's going to fit your needs, whether it's visual or astrophotography, or if it's small versus large. All right, well, there you have it. Thank you very much. Clear skies.